Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and today I want to show you what will be my DUI 2x72 inch belt grinder. Um, did it ever happen to you? You started the project and uh, then you found out you need a tool to finish it and then you have to build the tool to finish your initial project. This is my initial project. Uh, since you maybe have seen my previous video where the hailstorm destroyed my car and since I have to repaint the hood I want to put these, uh, they call it uh, mad eyelids on the hood but I want them to be um, well soldered welded because this is aluminum and the hood is aluminum and uh, I didn't want to buy the plastic things and, and put them down I didn't want to put tape on the light because that all looks silly and this way if you do it this way it looks real nice so uh, and by the way thank you for the zero dollars zero cents uh, contribution to my um, car anyway um, this is two millimeters aluminum. Um, I would probably have gotten away with 1.5 millimeter, but I didn't find any, any, so it was either one millimeter or two. And one, I mean, on one millimeter, the edge you're gonna paint this, and then the edge now we're gonna hold here. You can make a nice edge to it, and then the paint will hold, and it's approximately the same thickness that the hood has at the end um, because it's also curved uh, double folded over so anyway I wanted I cut this with a bandsaw no not bandsaw uh, with a handheld saw and out of a big sheet and uh, use another saw and barely cut it to this uh, overall size and then I figured I'm never gonna get this done without with the grinder it just takes too long to do this and you cannot work precisely and then I wanted to build a belt sander for a long time and this was the perfect opportunity to finally do it anyway this is the initial start, why it started, and this is going to be the belt sander. I actually have here other parts that I will use. I have some roller skate um, wheels that I'm going to use for bearings. And I have some other pieces, aluminum pieces, that just uh, came um, very handy to use that and I also bought this excuse my this is my working space overcrowded and I bought this wheel for a lot of money but still cheaper uh, because this is gonna be the how you call it, the contact wheel well for the on the motor I will obviously take it off of here uh, aluminum one would cost a lot of money so it's gonna be plastic for now it has a nice curvature, it has a um, thing here that I will cut off, make it smooth, but it will hold the wheel, I mean the belt on the grinder. And I actually bought a three phase 1.5 horsepower motor, new, and it came defective, so I had to ship that back today. And I will have to wait for a new one. <clears throat> and anyway, this is going to be. These are 40 by 80 aluminum extrusions. I know normally you make this out of steel, but I don't have a welder, so aluminum will do. And it will work just fine. I'm not the only one doing it. And <clears throat> this is actually a piece that I will incorporate here. This might look familiar. This was the handle for my... Um, cutting thread die die cutting thread thread cutter that I built for my CNC lathe and this will be the handle that you push down 
then you want to change the belts I also did by uh, how you call these things to give tension to it and that I have no idea I bought 120 Newton if it's gonna be too much or too little but we will see how it turns out so anyway <clears throat> This is the shaft that I'm going to use for the arm and I also bought some bearing blocks and actually those are normally green and I painted them silver. Shame on me, I should have done it there as well. I will probably do it. So I bought some two pillow bearings, I think they're called pillow bearings and painted them black. and. These are the parts. I have more T-nuts and screws, of course. And if you're interested, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a whole video or in parts. But anyway, this is the part one of it and I wanted to show you in bare. I just got home. I was out today, picked it up, the package, and unpacked it and it's laying down now. So anyway, if you're interested, you can hit the if you like, if you like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get notified. And if you want to support me in any shape or form, you can do it by buying something from my Tindy store, um, sending me buy me a cup of coffee through PayPal or super thanks below the video link, not be below the video, and even if you might become a Patreon so I can get not just five people supporting me anyway so this is how it looks now and this is actually the wood um, the bench part of the bench that I will screw this onto and I have here some super way too long legs and I will shorten those and make it to a comfortable height for me to work on and uh, anyway this is it if you want to follow you know what to do thanks for watching take care